Hello everyone and welcome to how to set up simple voice chat on your Nitrato server. When you talk Minecraft, you're talking a multitude of different types of games, as well as mini games and the vanilla version of the game. But whether you're playing the simple vanilla life or you're wanting to test out some unique mods that are out there, one thing's for sure, you're likely to play with a bunch of friends. And even in the end, one of the best things to look forward to is talking with them. That's why today we're going over how to install simple voice chat onto your server. How to install Simple Voice Chat. First and foremost, you need to make sure that you are setting your server up for success in order to install the mod properly. That means you have to set it to the right version of Minecraft. So stop your server, head to the Switch Game tab at the bottom left, and then set your game version to either the Minecraft Mod Pack Forge version or the Bucket slash Spigot version that is also available. You go ahead and click install on either one of those and make sure that that is set up before we begin anything here. Downloading the mod. Downloading the mod is relatively simple. Go to any search browser that you use and type up simple voice chat CurseForge. A first link will appear that'll most likely lead you to curseforge.com and that's where you wanna head. Here you can see in the description area, there's a number of different downloads. For this first example, I'm gonna be showing you how to do the Forge download. So click that. My current version of Forge running on my server is 1.18.2. So I'm gonna click the download button on the right hand side of that version. After a couple of minutes, you'll have the jar file in your computer. Server side installation. To install it on your server, you're first going to want to stop the server, of course. When the pop-up appears, double down on that stop button. Then. Once the server is offline, you're going to scroll down to the left hand side where you see the tools section. Underneath the tools section, there's something called file browser. That's what you're going to want to select. Once you locate it, go ahead and click on it. In the new page that pops up, select Minecraft other packs. Then you're going to select the mods folder that's there. In the new page, you're going to see something called upload file down at the bottom. If you've not installed any mods prior, you won't see anything else besides really that. Go ahead and add in the simple voice chat mod, and after just a few moments, you'll see that it is uploaded. Unfortunately, this doesn't mean that it's perfectly active quite yet, but after a quick restart of your server by heading back to the dashboard and clicking the start server button, we can get one step closer to that. After the server has reset, we are going to be good to go to move on to the next step. So once you see it fully restart, then you can move on. Configuring simple voice chat to be enabled. Moving on to the next step, you're gonna to wanna to stop your server once more. I know it seems repetitive, but trust me, it is necessary. So once the server is completely offline once again, you're going to go to the left-hand side and enter back into file browser. Select Minecraft other packs once more. Then instead of mods, you're actually going to go to the world folder. In the new page that pops up, what you want to click from there is server config. This new page will bring up a file that we need to edit, the voice chat file. What this means is we're going to go inside and specifically edit a couple of things. What you want to look for are the words bind address. And you're going to need to take your IP and copy it. You want to take that IP and paste it into where the bind address is and only paste in the IP part, not the port. Take the port from that IP and just a couple of spots above bind address, you'll see port. Replace those numbers with the port of your server and then you wanna click the green save changes button down at the bottom. Once the changes have been officially saved, then you know what to do. Head back to the dashboard and start the server once more to officially fix these changes. Now surely we're all good to start the server up, right? And have some proximity chat? Not quite. There is still one more big step that we need to do before we start. Client-side installation. While the mod might be fully installed on the server side, you need to install it on the client side too. Open up your Minecraft launcher and under installations, click the folder of the Forge version that you're using on the right hand side. Your computer files will appear and under mod, you wanna open that folder up. 
Then you're going to take in the mod for Simple Voice Chat and move that over from your download section. Once that has been moved over, that will officially install the mod on your client side. Now your mods folder can be shut. You can go back to play and start the server so that you can start playing. The bucket slash spigot version. This version of the setup is very similar to the forge version. So what you wanna do is install the bucket spigot version instead of the forge version. After you've installed that, the process will take a little bit, by the way. You're going to go ahead and go into the CurseForge page and make sure that you're installing the bucket version of it. You're of course going to need to install the version that is applicable for your server, in this case, 19.3. So that's the one that I installed. From here, with the server off, you're going to go to the left-hand side and click the file browser section once again. This is really where it differs all you have to worry about is going into Minecraft bucket, and then you're going to go to plugins. This is where the file path differs than forge. Other than that, it's the same upload process, upload the file for the plugin, and then you're going to head back to the main page of the panel and restart the server. After that, then you have to set up the port just like we did in the forge version. Then you're good to go. How to use simple voice chat. Well, I'd imagine you want to use the mod now, right? Well, luckily for you, it's very simple. The first thing you can do is check that it's working by checking for any of the commands that are available, like voice chat help. Typing this in will show you any of the commands that you need to use in order to add or leave certain groups and things of the sort. Of course, you can also just check to see if it's working by clicking the quick keys that are available such as caps lock to push the talk, the M to mute, N to toggle the mod, and H to hide the icons that pop up whenever you're using the mod. There's also the voice chat settings in which you can adjust different sounds as well as which inputs and outputs you're using for the proximity chat in this mod. The last thing is you can create a group specific to whatever players you want. This is very cool for mini games, especially if you're playing a game like Capture the Flag, where you want to have two different sides be able to talk, but not hear the other team. All you have to do is click G to create a brand new group, then type in whatever group name you want it to be, and a password if you want, of course it's optional, but it is helpful to prevent anybody from joining that you don't want, and then you have a group to talk with. Common issue. The common issues for this mod all fall under one pretty big list, and that is if the mod isn't working for some reason. There's a couple of different things to test, of course. You can always make sure that you install the mod on your client side the right way. If you didn't install it at all, it won't work. Same goes for the server. Make sure that you put in the right IP and port in the right spots. Conclusion. That covers just about everything that you need to know about simple voice chat on Minecraft. Whether you're using the mod version or the plugin version, hopefully this helped. Please consider leaving a like, subscribing, and ringing the notification bell. That way we know you like to see this type of content. Until next time. Huh.